Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today's question comes to us from a Living End centric Discord server. Amy casts Shardless Agent. Mick wants to counter the Shardless Agent's cascade ability with consigned memory. Amy then plays a misdirection against the consigned memory. Can Amy change the target from Shardless Agent's cascade ability to the consigned to memory's replicate ability? Okay, so to answer this question, I'll pull up the CR definition for the replicate mechanic, and I'll invite everybody to take a look at it and see if you can identify what the answer to this question is, just from how it's worded. And longtime fans of the channel might have noticed that the replicate ability definitely does count as a triggered ability since it includes the word win. That means that in principle, this could work. Once the replicate trigger is on the stack, a misdirection would be able to change the target of consigned to memory to that triggered ability. There's a couple of issues though. First up is that the replicate trigger is a special type of triggered ability. Notice how the check to see if a replicate cost was paid falls in between the trigger event when you cast the spell and the effects, copying the spell. This template means we're dealing with an intervening if clause. Part of the rules for such triggered abilities are that they don't even trigger unless the if condition is true as the trigger event happens. Applying this to the case presented in the original problem statement, we can say that it is therefore not possible to use misdirection to change the target of consigned to memory to the replicate trigger unless Nick actually paid the replicate cost as he was casting the spell, which seems kind of unlikely if he's heard about this trick before. If Amy had played a Maelstrom Colossus rather than a Shardless Agent, then it would be possible to change the target of consigned to memory to the Cascade creature rather than the Cascade ability, but this wouldn't work with the situation presented in the original problem statement because Shardless Agent is not a colorless spell. Without another triggered ability or colorless spell to change the target to, that misdirection isn't going to help us very much. Okay, the second problem is that even if Nick did pay the replicate cost, the misdirection isn't going to change the order of stuff on the stack. I made an episode recently about how Bushmeat Poacher interacts with Greedy Freebooter, and one of the takeaways was that if an ability triggers during the process of casting a spell, like Replicate does, then that ability goes on the stack on top of the spell that you are casting. This means that even if you were to change the target of consigned to memory to the Replicate trigger, the Replicate trigger would still resolve, because it's on top of the consigned to memory spell since we already established that this ability will only exist if at least one replicate copy is getting made, the controller of this ability just has to point at least one replicate copy at the cascade trigger and it will still be countered in spite of all Amy's efforts. And this brings us to the last idea that gives us some hope for this trick maybe working out. Maybe Amy isn't using misdirection to change the target of consigned to memory spell. Maybe she's using a commandeer to steal it. Well, I have to admit, stealing is pretty much always a good idea, so let's see how this works out. Like before, Amy gets absolutely no benefit whatsoever if the replicate cost was not paid. If you're asked to choose new targets for a spell, then the new targets have to be legal. So Amy cannot choose new targets for the consigned to memory at all unless there is some other triggered ability or colorless spell for her to change it to. Observant viewers may have noticed that misdirection actually says change the target. So for completeness, I'll mention that there is another rule that says the same thing for that template. So that situation is no different. If Amy does gain control of the consigned to memory, there's just one other obstacle, which is that like before, the replicate ability will resolve before the spell. Commandeer only gave Amy control of the consigned to memory spell. The replicate trigger is still controlled by Nick, since he controlled its source at the time the ability triggered. Accordingly, he would be able to just have a replicate copy target the cascade ability, and Amy is out of luck once again, except this time she had to exile two cards to make this play. Bad beats, Amy. And that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another Daily Ruling. Until then, I hope you have a great day.